Growing Boundlessly is dedicated to providing a variety of wellness services in the hopes of breaking the stigma surrounding mental health in communities of color. And joining us now with more, our owner Amari Jackson, client experience and intake specialist Anissa Brazier. Thank you ladies for coming in. You know, Thank we talk you. about mental health and more people are opening up, but it is still such a stigma out there. How do you begin to break that stigma, especially when it comes to the uh, communities of color? Well, for one, representation. So we have um, 11 therapists that work underneath Growing Balancely currently. And people of color with the stigma, they want to work with someone who looks like them. So um, us having multiple African-American therapists or other therapists of color is how we introduce people into being more comfortable with receiving mental health services. What do you tell someone if, that you know who's close to you, who, who may need to talk to someone else other than coming to you and confiding in you, to, to kind of overcome that hurdle so they go seek out someone professional. I tell them it's just as normal as going to the regular doctor's appointment, right? So we go to the doctor when we need to take care of our physical health mm -hmm. or we go to the dentist to get our teeth cleaned, right? And so I tell them you have to make it a part of your regular routine. You have to make this something that is for you to take care of yourself. Self-care is so important. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And how does, if you don't get that, hair, that care, how does it start manifesting itself if you just don't seek that care? Oh, wow. So with African-American people, a wide variety of different things. So the gentleman that spoke previously, right, aggression can um, present in some people. For women, there's a, a, a term that is coined Sisterella Complex for African-American women. And so Sisterella Complex is essentially where um, mental health represents in women differently, in black women. So it can become the um, aggression or overworking, right, accomplishments, because you're trying to mask the things that you're dealing with on in the inside as opposed to actually dealing with the stuff that you're doing or dealing with mentally. Some of the patients that you're taking in, what are some of the comments they are saying to you? Um, I think a lot of the time it's just the coming over the hurdle of even just seeking that resource. Mm -hmm. um, and so my job as an intake specialist is to give a boutique-like experience. I think black people don't, black people in other communities of color don't experience enough luxury. Um, and why can't that be a part of mental health care and resources? Um, so just explaining even things as simple as benefits um, to what they can expect within that therapeutic relationship and really just giving them that personalized experience even from the first phone call super important and so most people like you mentioned think of it as a luxury because there's a cost mm -hmm. and uh, let's face it a lot of people in communities of color don't have access to insurance mm -hmm can they still access your services? Absolutely, so we have intern therapists. We're actually expanding our intern program this year. We have one currently, um, but they can receive low cost and pro bono services with us through our interns, as well as we try to raise funds to be able to cover the cost for people who cannot afford to receive mental health services. Mm -hmm. So, and also our fully licensed therapists have an allotment, so they have um, we leave space for them to see people pro bono or uh, low cost and sliding scale every year. We were talking a little bit in the break how much you guys have grown since you started. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you think that's because A of the pandemic and or B that people in communities of color are starting to realize that this is so important in their overall wellness? I think a combination of both, okay. definitely. I think the pandemic made people face things that they weren't used to facing because we're out in the world, we're working, we're going and doing things, we're bouncing around and having to be in the house, right, like stuck there. Yeah. You're dealing mm -hmm. with your mental health, you're dealing with the stress that you haven't, you know, talked about or the job that you don't like, right? And so people are like, okay, maybe it's something to this. Maybe I need to talk to somebody, right? Mm -hmm. And then of course with the pandemic, when you lose your social networks, your energy to be able to go out and do things, it's like, well, I need to talk to somebody about this. Like, mm -hmm. I'm feeling depressed, I'm feeling stressed, I'm feeling anxious. And so that, and then mental health has become quite the buzz, right? Mm -hmm. So people talk about self-care and um, indulging in resources to help them to manage their mental health services. So that was, was to our benefit as well, to be able to get the buy-in for people to come yeah. in. Yeah, yeah, get the word out. Because unfortunately, we've seen a number of people take the yeah. uh, the ultimate route, mm -hmm. which right. is ending their lives. Yeah. And you, you really want to catch them before that, what should someone recognize in themselves real quickly before we leave to let them know I need to go get some help? Any disruption in your normal functioning is a key indicator that it's time to go get some help. I think a lot of time people are reactionary as mm -hmm. opposed to being proactive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when you start to see like I'm not enjoying the things that I love anymore, right? I'm not keeping my appearance up the way that I mm. used to. I don't enjoy my job anymore. I feel malaise, right? Just tired and, and no energy all of the time. It might be a good indicator. Also your relationships changing. So communication, right, is a big thing and oftentimes people 
will break down their communication when they're suffering mentally. Yeah. So that is a good indicator that you need to go and get some help. So interesting. Your brain powers everything in your body, and yet we don't take care of it enough. Yeah. Absolutely. Very true. Yeah. Thank, Thank you so ladies. much, ladies, Thank for being so here. Here's Thank the information you. here and where you can reach out to Growing Boundlessly, website, social media, all of that. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much.